Hello everyone, this is the part 2 of my twin motion tutorial series where I'll be making overall 4 videos which will be covering everything. I have made the first video if you haven't seen that or if you are used to twin motion then this is a perfect video for you. Here we will be discussing about how we are going to apply materials, modify materials, what kind of settings on materials makes the material look more realistic in renders and how to use all the features that are there in twin motion regarding materials setting up an entire scene setting up a home and how you can manage the model inside twin motion so this video will be a very very important and helpful video in this series so try watching this video till the end and without any delays let's get started with the video guys So basically we are going to import a SketchUp file and I have already set up a SketchUp file for this. It's a very basic, so don't judge me for that. Here I am and this is the example for twin motion. I named it on purpose. So here you will get few options of uh, collapsible material and all of these things. Just keep as is, don't change anything and import. It will take some time, but I think so that model is very light. It should be quick. So once that model is in, don't do anything. Right now you can see like, okay, it just randomly came in and now I can select it and move it, but half of the elements will stay there. Look, half of my objects are here and half of them are floating. So don't do this. I'm going to control Z. Don't do anything over here. Go into your layer section. Scroll up and here you will see your file name. Just select that. And now select the move command and you can move the entire project that you got in and it went somewhere else together. So always try to use this layer section over here to isolate the elements to select the element if you want to move your entire project together you can do that as well so this is something i will just place it on the ground or little above the ground it doesn't matter and here is that room that i am planning to render and you can see these are all basic sketchup materials none of these materials are from twin motion so this is how your SketchUp file will come in and here you will see all the material that came in with your SketchUp file which we don't care anymore. So here I will go into material section and I will start editing the materials. First is our floor material that I will go marble granite and you will find option of good marble tiles and just apply it now go on the material picker on the top as you can see oh apologies i forgot to show you few features over here replace material apply to object and apply to cube uvs cylindrical cylindrical uvs and spherical uvs I will teach you that as well. So let's let's go to our cube over here. For example, the floor materials are same. So if I go and try to change these materials, everything changes. So for that, if I want to just change this object's material and not this material, I will go on top. So right now it's replace material. I will select apply to object. So once I have selected that, that will give me capability of changing the material individually. For example, like this. Now it's not changing along with each other. And in replace material, I will show you again. Everything changes together. So this is the capability that it gives you. And so 
here we have cube uvs I, if i select that and my object is a uh, sphere that means that my material won't go on it very nicely like it won't wrap on it very nicely look at this can you see how it is originating at center point and it's not even but now if i want to apply it on a sphere because my object is sphere i will select sphere and apply the material can you see the difference it is still converging at the center but it is following the spherical path look at this so this helps a lot and if i have an object like a rectangle i will select i will go here and select from object uvs so basically all the surface will be applied material differently and here i will have to change it to apply object and this is how it will do it and here you can see it is detecting that where the material is uh changing the shape so i find the uh uv from object uv option the best one so that's why i use it every time and yeah that was that uh this was it for the material ones i'll go here and change all the materials for example steel metal brushed aluminum so i changed that over here then i have wood i'll go ahead and change my cabinet material and so on and so forth i'll keep doing this and now coming to the material section how we can edit these materials for example these are my grains i hope you can see it quite clearly so i'll go ahead select this wood yeah wood wood is better yes so if i go ahead and do this you will find that i am weathering so basically this is the weather effect that we have in twin uh, lumion then we have luminosity it will just make the material brighter and make it more glowy then you have rotation you can rotate the object totally or wherever you want to make the planks or the wooden planks or your tiles to face you can do that scale you can scale them and you can see all the details are very high quality here in twin motion then you can increase and decrease the roughness so the light the number the amount of light it reflects then metalness it will make it more uh, metallic so i don't want that in my wood and emissive emissive is basically it will actually make it glow not brighten it up but make it glow so you don't have to temper with it i usually use this emissive so i will go ahead and select uh, the lighting material and make it glow over here so that's where i use emissive material and as you can see there is color i can change the color it gives me a lot of uh, editing option and lot of control over the material that i love about twin motion more than uh, more than lumion it gives us uh, control over the materials as you can see you have endless amount of settings over here so this is the section of material i hope you liked it i hope this helped you and if it did please go ahead hit a like and subscribe to my channel i am making this video just for all of you so that you can quickly understand twin motion and move ahead in the process and learn it better grow in your careers so please support my channel and uh, this will motivate me to keep making such videos i will uh, be uploading the part 3 very soon and if you are looking at this video later in 2024 at around october or something all the parts are out you can go ahead and check them out i have created a playlist so yeah 
keep supporting the channel and uh, take care of yourself i'll see you soon guys bye bye